Okay, I'm here in uh, La Pointe, Utah, uh, Frontier Lumber, getting these big old 14-inch beastie logs that are going up to uh, Mount Charleston. He's uh, loading them right now. We're gonna readjust this load a little bit. I think I'm a little tongue yet. We're gonna take this stuff, pull it back to where I can put an eight foot unit right in here. And then there's no reason to leave that other 10 foot unit. We'll throw it on somewhere. We got our Tetris load somewhat um, balanced. We're all loaded up here in the Uinas. We're gonna take her easy. We've got about 340, 350 miles to home, six, seven hours. So we're just gonna putt along and not do anything crazy and get home to our families. Made it back from up north, uh, getting all these logs. I've got uh, five different jobs on there. We've got the uh, Mount Charleston, big 14 inchers. Then we've got uh, some 10 inch on the other side, 10 and seven doing the docks for Maverick helicopter tours. Then I've got the barkies, these right here with the bark on. Those are going to Flagstaff to Silas, um, AP Sawmill. Then I've got another client coming today to pick up some other stuff for a railing that they're doing. And then I picked up an extra unit of three and a half for the big rail job that Cade and I are doing out to Ponderosa Resort. So uh, that was quite the Tetris load there. We had to kind of shift and shimmy and uh, took a minute to get everything the way I wanted it. It rode pretty good, 350 miles. Stay tuned and we will uh, keep you updated on these projects as they progress. Good morning. It's a nice brisk morning. We're getting ready to head to uh, Mount Charleston. Uh, Cade and Matt and I, we're gonna go install these big old beastie things. Those are a 14 inch true turned log going inside of some big rock uh, pillars. They were done years ago and the logs rotted off so we've got to go and replace them all. And we got 22 of them. That, it's going to be quite a job, I believe. We got to get loaded up and get on the road. You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Born ready. Yeah. Very ready. Okay. Well, we're all loaded up. Getting ready to head to Mount Charleston. Go install these loggies. Well, we're finally at the base of Mount Charleston. Can you believe that this is like 10 minutes out of Vegas? We should have videoed the first half of that little Take adventure. Down, yeah, these uh, are a little more heavy than that uh, old antiquated skid steer wants to lift. So Matt and I are going to get these off real quick and Cade's going to do a little videoing for us. First, or should we? Yeah, I would start. I'd go clean all them. And just up. pile them yeah. over here somewhere out of the way. Right over there by that. All right, we're gonna do the cleanup first, and then uh, 
just pick at these one at a time. I say just hack it off right here where we can have enough leverage to get it out. Let's see. Start with the first one. Those are coming right out of there. Yeah, that's going to come out. Prep work's going to be a lot easier than stabbing them, I think. But I'll go get my saw and start helping. That one is full of concrete. Is that why I tube on it? Yeah. Oh, that was heavy. Yeah, I hit concrete on one of these right here. They tried to put it in the hole. Yeah, look at all that rot. Is that cant hook working okay for getting the I need it, yeah. So that one with the metal around it's full of concrete? Yeah, look at the end of it. Wood, metal, and concrete. <laughs> the trifecta of log building. That's what Cage said. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties down in uh, Mount Charleston. I either lost the SD card or deleted the SD card. Not quite sure which, but one of the most crucial parts of the job, I can't find it anywhere in my library. So I'm going to reenact it on a smaller scale, of course, just to give you an idea what we had to do to get those 22 logs inside of those rock columns. Let's uh, visualize these as the rock columns. This is our 14 inch log. It had to go in all the way and then back. So to make it fit, we had to push it in there and then slide it back. Our holes were only three and a half to four inches deep. So I could only go three inches long on my log. So I would measure the opening. I would go three inches past it, cut it off, slide the log all the way in and then back. Then I'd put the expansion foam behind it. The expansion foam would fill the void and put pressure on both ends and actually create a block behind there so that it won't slide. So I'm sorry that I didn't get that on uh, video, but you get the gist of it and you'll be able to see the finished product here shortly in this video. So what do you think, Tracy? I think it's a nice day. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, hiring a professional uh, <laughs> is the way to go. Well, we don't know about that. No, I do know about that. I can tell. <laughs> Everybody can tell. <laughs> Looks nice. Yeah, you're the best in the business, sir, no oh, doubt. Oh, it's cool looking. It looks fabulous. Somehow I got an extra log. <laughs> That's hey. better than one short, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's usually the other way around. Oh, it looks great. And I, I am just so grateful. And, uh, you know, I'm so proud. I'm like, hey, I got the best. He's here. <laughs> you know, he's here doing mm. my stuff. Can't get any better than that. This is great. Yeah, I think it's turned out pretty good. Heck yeah. We'll get that expansion foam in these. And the expansion foam has to set for like 24, 48 hours. Okay. And it's going to bubble out, and then you just take a sawzall and just cut it off flush. Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy because you, you're a professional. <laughs> Easy peasy will be me learning another new trade. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, we're uh, day two here, and we got... Three more sections, and we got one extra log. Well, you can't have a job that doesn't have an issue, I found just in life. As luck would have it, we have an extra log. We're on our very last log, and we're two inches short. That log there is four inches short, and this log here 
is two inches short. So we got to perform surgery. Luckily, it's going to be hidden in the hole, but uh, we need to attach two inches to the end of this log right here, right on that butt right there. So we'll get Matt up here with the saw, cut us a two inch chunk, and we got some liquid nail and some deck screws. We have to make this log two inches longer. We got to perform a surgery here. Well, so are. you got your saw up here. I need a two inch, I need a two inch chunk cut as flush as you can cut it. So anyway, we got to uh, get out the old log stretcher, add two inches to a log. It sucks, but it's the way it is. All right, so I'm going to kind of explain what this stuff here is. This expansion foam is pretty cool stuff. As you can see, we've got some gaps. It works a lot better too if you put the keep the bottle up. But well, what it's going to do is it's going to go in the hole and expand, and as it cures, it's going to tighten those logs up. Tracy's going to have to come back through with the, either a sawzall or exacto knife. exacto knife and clean all that up. It's going to serve a couple of purposes. It's going to uh, seal it up from the from the elements. It's also going to hold the log in place. I think these were the the biggest holes we had. Yeah. Can we go up at this one? Yeah. Can you? Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is coffee. And then as that cures, it's going to grow and pop out. There you go, Matt. <laughs> Get her done. If you want, put a little behind it and it'll force it out. But that expansion foam's pretty cool stuff. It's going to help keep them in place, and it's also going to keep the elements out of the void what a beautiful place to work i'm glad you guys like it i have uh, i'm honored to have you here all this granite ledges i spent three days over in the sierra nevadas with the jeep tour with my son and it was just like that just solid granite there goes the bumper yeah we are on a you know the granite base yeah this is pretty like i said i'm very grateful that y'all are here i i feel honored i'm like yay i got the i got the experts here look at that wow what a difference what a difference a day makes so what do you think of this fence oh, i love it are you kidding me yeah it's back to its original beauty now so this job is a wrap. Tracy's been an awesome host. She let us stay in her million dollar cabin. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna come back. And yes. You. And a Always shout out welcome. to Matt and Kate that helped do this job. And uh, this has been one of those jobs that worked out really well. And we had to come a little ways to get here, but hey, it's beautiful. It was worth it. Can't ask for a better spot to work. And it is awesome, so. Hope you enjoy this episode and we'll catch you on the next one.